first tonight, a DACA recipient living here in Rhode Island says he's breathing a sigh of relief after the news became official. The 2020 census will not include a citizenship question. Good evening, I'm Shannon Heggie. And I'm Mike Montecalvo. The news first breaking on Eyewitness News at 530. The Justice Department says the Trump administration has begun printing the census without the question, seemingly bringing an end to a controversial legal battle that made it all the way to the Supreme Court. Tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin spoke with a local dreamer about this development. She joins us with his interview and what the 2020 census could mean for Rhode Island. Caroline? Well, Shannon and Mike, according to Census Bureau estimates from 2018, Rhode Island's population was less than 1.1 million. If that estimation holds in the 2020 census, the state is projected to lose one of its two seats in the U.S. House of Representatives. That's why a local DACA recipient tells me it's so important to have every Rhode Islander fill out the census, regardless of their citizenship status. The 2020 census rolling out without the citizenship question. Was this concern that I it's share. positive news for Rodrigo Pimentel Levis Providence. He's a DACA recipient who came to the U.S. from Portugal with his parents when he was 10 months old. Finally, we will have a census that is fair, that will include all Rhode Island residents and all residents of the U.S. regardless of their immigration status. Early in 2018, the Trump administration said it wanted to ask every person in the country whether he or she is an American citizen as part of the census. I think it's very important to find out if somebody's a citizen as opposed to an illegal. I think that there's a big difference to me between being a citizen of the United States and being an illegal. But last week, the Supreme Court ruled the administration couldn't do that, saying its explanation for adding the question was insufficient. The question would essentially lead to people not filling out the census. And this means uh, we'd lose federal dollars, we might lose representation in Congress. A test run of the 2020 census was conducted in Providence County last year. The National Association of Latino elected and appointed officials did an assessment of that test run. Speaking with residents, who took part and elected officials in Rhode Island. Its conclusion? Overwhelmingly, residents agreed that a census citizenship question will decrease participation in the 2020 census. Dreamers, uh, undocumented immigrants, we're Rhode Islanders like everyone else. We contribute to our state, we pay taxes to our state, we live normal lives. We are here to be with our families, with our friends, and to pursue our dreams just like everyone else. By April of 2020, U.S. households will receive an invitation to participate in the census with options to respond online, by phone, or by mail. According to the census website, the results of the census helped to determine how more than $675 billion in federal funding is distributed to states and communities. I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.